Guys, the mistake is huge. I'm telling you right now. This is just we already reviewed this app. It was great to review. You can check it out here. No. Oh, it was a different company. Yes. We didn't review this. This is a different, same app, different review, review app, same. Yes. I'm great with words. I know the best words. Hello, Shopify community. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, and today I have the privilege and the honor to guide you through another Shopify app. Isn't that pretty? We're talking about Form Builder by Wholesale Forms by Power.io. That's a mouthful. It has a whole bunch of fantastic reviews. Wholesale form builders is something that's requested a lot. A lot of our clients requested but first. Some of our clients paid zero for their Shopify development work because they won a contest. Last week winner, you congratulations this person. Congratulations. You won four hours of development work by Ecom Experts. It's roughly six hundred bucks. A bit more actually. You just contact us um, and leave us your email and we will reach out and tell us what we need to do in your Shopify store and we will do it for you. If you want to know how to win, check out this video with the rules or check out in the very back, I'll repeat it again, but back to power.io, the wholesale form app, which is why you are here. You want to know how you make money wholesale. And actually, uh, we're just going to go through all of these steps right here. So if just one of these elements in the indexing interests you, there's timestamps down below. You can jump straight to that section um, that is of your interest. And I'm going to stop talking and we're going to go to our section numero uno. The app is installed and we are automatically taken to the form editor. But first we have this welcome pop-up with uh, some basic tips. On the right we have elements and contents of our plugin. Uh, the design tab is for customization and when we are satisfied with the design we need to click add to site. And that's it. Well, thank you, we got it. Okay, let's start making our contact forms. In the next section, we should choose the type of form we want to build. We already said that we want to make a contact form, but guys, this is actually quite amazing. You can choose from so many different types of forms. I'm tempted to try them all, but this video would never end and the people that want to know how to win uh, free dev work at the end would probably kill me. So we will choose a contact form, stick with the original plan and click continue with the template. By the way, just as an FYI, please take the second to subscribe. I know I sound like a typical YouTuber, but it makes a ginormous difference. Like seriously, <laughs> if, like me not saying this is almost me not worth making this video. It's a gigantic difference. All right. Thank you for subscribing. We are on the form tab and here we can play with the content and elements of our form. You can add up to six elements on a free plan. Let's see what else we can add. Click on add elements and oh, whoa, we can add so many things, text, images, checkbox, phone numbers, ratings, and so much more. Uh, click on done and we're all done with the form tab. Damn, you don't even need those four free hours of development work anymore. I mean, huh. It is time for the settings tab. The first step in this tab is to set email from admin. Uh, let's click on that and in a new window, let's add our email. So that's info at ecomexperts.io if you want any jobs done. This app also allows you to get an email whenever someone abandons payment. Cool. Also, in the settings tab, you can set submissions behavior, and here we have integrations. Uh, stay until the end of the video to see a full list of integrations. All right, this step is done. Let's jump to the next tab, which is payment. In this tab, you can allow your customers to pay via this form. Um, connect payment accounts, add product details, tax shipping, and discounts if you want, and you are all done. You can, oh, interesting, you can use it for a one-time purchase, donations, which actually I get quite a lot of requests for donations, or subscriptions. 
uh, we are only left with the most exciting tab, which is design. Uh, from here, you can choose from smart design, pop-up position, and all these others. I mean, click on done, and our form is actually ready. So let's click on add to site, and we are on the form builder installation page. Here we can choose if we want to do it by ourselves, or let the app do the work for us. We will let the app install the code for us. And for the pages, um, let's maybe do it everywhere. Click on add to pages and it is installed. Okay, let's quickly see what is done. So click on view and we are on our lovely demo shop. By the way, we are taking ideas for demo shops just to like turn it up a bit. So let me know in the comments, funny demo shops. Here is the button and our form pops up. That looks really good, all right. The smart design really makes it fit our team. Hats off, power for this app. All right, that was it for the walkthrough. I hope you have a better feel for uh, what the app actually can do, cannot do, where the limitations is, and where you can kind of navigate you around. But next, super important, does this app affect my visitors? That's a question for... this is actually pretty simple we will go to our ecom experts speed tool uh, right here so this is the owner page where if you're non-technical you have all the information the developer page if you're a developer but we're interested in the history page we already checked this website before we installed the app so um, now we're checking it again we're going to history right here um, let's compare the report of this one is when before we installed it and we'll compare it with this one which should be right after we install it and okay so the loading time went up the page size went up and we do have additional requests so it does make an impact it looks like and okay i get it we all work on our laptops and we optimize our store on our laptops but most clients they see us for the first time on the mobile that's why the next section is super important all right let's jump to our demo shop and see it looks even better on mobile okay let's fill this in real quick and we got an email immediately all right it looks very good uh the only thing i don't like is the power branding but it can easily be removed. I mean, um, you can decide to upgrade, but I talk more about this in the facts corner at the end. So what if you have the best app in the world, but if you have a question, there's no one here to respond. Well, then you come to me and you comment down below and I'll respond. But what if that's not an option, Andrew? I don't like talking to you. I get that. I don't like talking to myself. That's a lie. <laughs> that's that's literally a lie. I love talking to myself. I I always end up winning my agreements. It's very very interesting. But that's beside the point. You can also just check out the next section. Yeah. So customer service is available via email. You can find it if you scroll to the bottom of the page and choose the contact support. You'll be redirected to the power contact page. In case you need a quick answer, you can always check the power help center. Um, let's see how fast we will get an answer via email. Let's fill in this form real quick and now we need to wait. Um, we will get back to you as soon as we have a result. All right, Andrew, I got a problem, man. I'm using your speed test tool to check how fast my website is and I noticed that I've uninstalled this app a while ago but it still appears on the speed test tool. That means the code is still there somewhere? Is that even possible? That could be possible. That's why I'm going to show you how to uninstall the app in the next section. All right, so how exactly do you uninstall and remove the code from your store? So let's go to the code admin, uh, remove the app from your Shopify admin as you would do with every other app. 
then what you would need to do is jump to the team code and from there search product dot liquid um, delete this line and click on the save button right here know that if you injected the code directly in a template uh, earlier in a previous step the code should be removed manually as well uh, in case you need help with this pin it in the comment section or contact us on the social media pages uh, you can find the links in the description box below and then the final section well before i tell you how you can win a whole lot of money the final section is the Welcome to my little a corner with Hector, my um, French buddy. I was gonna say it's a plant. It's not even. A, it's probably a Swedish plant. Let's see if you get that one, YouTube. Um, so welcome to the facts corner. So first of all, this app. What does it integrate with? Well, actually, it integrates with uh, Mailchimp, Google Sheets, and Zapier. So that might actually be of help if you have any of. Those Zapier can connect you to tons of other things regardless, so pretty interesting. So let's talk about the freedom money, right? Well, there is four different plans that are outlined here. You have the free plan, uh, which is 20. I'm going to have to read on this. So this is 25 submissions a month. This is going to be six form elements, one email admin, notification, submissions, dashboard, capachas, and the Zapier integration. Then you have the starter plan for nine US dollars per month. Um, and that's basically the same thing as the free plan, but they removed their uh, branding on it. So you don't see that it's from a third party app. Then there is a pro plan for $16 a month. And that's the same as the previous plan. Uh, except that you get a thousand submissions a month. You get 20 elements, you get 10 megabyte file uploads, you get image, uh, you get image choices, you get multiple page forms, you get conditional logic, uh, you get custom CSS and JavaScript if you want to make it pretty or if you want to make it react like you want. And then there is the business one, which is 80 bucks a month. Um, that has everything that the pro just had. Uh, plus unlimited submissions, unlimited elements, 100 megabytes of file uploads, unlimited discount codes, which could be quite interesting, and the business upgrade for all other 50 POWR apps. That's interesting. So let's talk about competitors. What's the competitor landscape like? Well, you have Form Builder plus customized forms. You have Form Builder with file upload. You have Form Builder from Custom Forms. You have the Advanced Form Builder. They're all very, very good names. Uh, you have FOMA, right? You have Form Builder by Arctic Gray, and you have Anywhere Custom Forms. So now let's talk about rating. There is a 4.7 out of 5 star rating, about 1,127 reviews. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, the breakdown is right here. You can see 5 star ratings are 942. Uh, you can read the rest because I'm assuming you're a person. I'm not going to make those jokes. Um, there is one. Uh, there's 41 star rating, so it might seem like a lot, but percentage-wise, it's really not that much, actually. So let's pull a couple of those out here with the timestamps on it, so you can pause the screen and kind of quickly scan through them. And let's pull up a couple of different ones. Maybe there's something really specific in there that uh, applies to you, so you kind of want to check it out, but again not not a huge deal um and that is it oh no wait you want to know you're like andrew i watched this entire video i don't do wholesale i don't care about wholesale i don't know why every time i imitate you guys i take a voice like this how do i win the dev work how do 
How does that person, how does the store owner that just won four hours of dev work, I have a bunch of stuff that needs to be done in my store, how do I win four hours of free development work? Well, it's actually really easy. Just go in the comment section below and say how many likes you think this video will have 24 hours after this video is posted. So um, you're allowed to bet or you're allowed to put your, your guesses up to 20 hours after video is posted and whoever is closest, whoever guesses the closest to the actual number of likes the video has 24 hours after posting wins four hours of development work. It's really that easy. If you need anything from team updates to like anything done by a developer and you're like, oh, I can't really afford it or it's not a good time or I don't know what, just comment and if you're like hey andrew this video came out like a month ago uh <laughs> that's not gonna work we have new videos all the time like literally we try once a day so just subscribe to our channel make sure to check out our next video make sure to participate in our contest i love you all thank you so much for supporting us we at ecom experts love you for it and have a fantastic evening day morning wherever you are adios